Several hundred people in Durham now still feeling the impacts of a crash that knocked out power to several neighborhoods for hours. Yes, yeah, 1,600 people were without power last night and most of today. CBS 17's Jamise Price explains how the outages impacted people and interrupted school. It was a loud boom, then our power just went out. It impacted the whole community here. My, I mean, everybody in my community here is without power at this moment here. Neighbors in the Forest View Heights community have been without power since 5 p.m. Monday evening, following a wreck on Cornwallis Road. I just ran down there. I told my mom, call police, let them know what's going on. Durham police say the driver slammed into a power pole, knocking the power out to about 1,600 Duke Energy customers. Evidence of that car accident remains. Debris scattered throughout pieces of the car laid out here on Cornwallis Road. I can't, I can't really do that. The car was just so badly damaged. Police say the three people inside the car are in the hospital. Two have critical injuries. And as those passengers work to recover, utility crews also work to restore power to more than a thousand people. But it took a while. Trying to be very patient with them. Normally, Duke, Duke Power usually will have things done within the four or five hours. A representative with Duke Energy said there are a few factors for the delay. One, the extent of the damage the accident caused on the equipment. Two, the sheer volume of customers without power. And some of those customers involved three Durham Public Schools. Pearson Elementary, Hillside High, and New Tech High School closed for the day because of the outages. Very inconvenient situation to live for all of us. In Durham, Jamise Price, CBS 17 News.